Forecasting change, glaciers melting worldwide have another unforeseen consequence, slowing down time. Yeah, before you get excited about <laughs> holding on to your youth a little longer, meteorologist Mark Collins explains why you won't really be able to tell. You certainly don't notice it, but the Earth is slowing down. We're talking nanoseconds, and since 1972, scientists and timekeepers have actually added 27 leap seconds to the calendar. So what's causing the slowdown? There are many factors. When you get physical with the Earth, it's the core. That tends to kind of shift around. Also tides, the bulge of tides tends to create friction, which has slowed down this rotation of the planet. And it does fluctuate over the eons. But more recently, satellites uh, have been able to determine the mass of the Earth. And when there's mass transport, it can cause the Earth to wobble and fluctuate in its rotation. A new report came out this week in the journal Nature and showed that the melting ice caps has created a mass distribution which has actually helped to slow down the planet's rotation even further. By the ice caps melting, that water has now moved into the uh, Atlantic and other portions of the ocean basins and that has altered the types of uh, movement of the planet. So it's interesting that their uh, calculation say that in the next five years, they may have to not use or adjust those leap seconds in order to keep the uh, atomic clock matching up with the rate at which the Earth spins. Quick little physical example here in the meteorological world. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins.